Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Well, hope you had a fantastic long weekend, the Victoria Day weekend. Saturday a little rainy, but the rest of the weekend, absolutely fantastic. Well, the sun is shining here in studio as we kick off the show talking about the 28th anniversary of the West End Studio Tour. And here to tell us more about it, Pamela Stewart joining us on the show. How are you, Pam? I'm fantastic. How about you, Derek? I am great. Good. You know, I, I know we're going to talk about this tour, but you're just telling me about exciting news that you have personally well not just you a couple yeah. of partners that you're in mm -hmm. uh, share that with our viewers this is really fun stuff sure well I mean it's maybe an artist's dream but uh, myself and three other partners have signed a lease and should be opening a gallery in the summer 2023 in Carleton Place Ontario just outside of Ottawa congratulations Thank that you. is exciting I can't wait to visit because that's one of the things my wife you'll and be, I love to do you'll is be just on go the on. list man. all right yeah. I love it I love it but yeah let's talk about this tour um, tell me a little bit of history behind it Pam and your associate with it. Sure. So the West End Studio Tour is one of the longest running uh, studio tours in Ottawa. It's This is the 28th year. Um, it has happened traditionally in the fall over two weeks, the last two weeks of September. So you can, um, every single calendar, you can put the last two weeks of September in there. But since COVID, um, the last couple of years, we've decided to put together a quick spring tour, um, usually in early June or late May, um, for one weekend. So that's okay. what we're doing. Um, next Next weekend, the 3rd and 4th, will be another tour with nine of our artists and um, 11 to 5 each day and for the first time since COVID, they're going to be back in their studios. I was going to ask um, you about that. Was yeah. that the idea behind the spring tour during the pandemic is to have an opportunity to be outdoors and, and yeah, keep something and just like in this general going. like a lot of the uh, major shows and festivals and stuff had been cancelled or postponed right. so it was an opportunity for the artists who had been creating and had no place to kind of showcase to get back out there and get the community back out and enjoy yeah. something that was at least close to normal at the time and yeah. it's a real challenge right to get mm -hmm. out there I mean that's why this I wanted you to kick off about the gallery news because yeah. it is tough for artists to find a place to to showcase, you know, all of this hard work, yeah. right, that they've been yeah. doing over. Well, and what people don't realize is just the sheer talent in this yeah. town and city and beyond into the valley. There are some incredible artists, and especially on this tour as well. There's some really, really accomplished and fabulous artists. Well, let's talk about some okay. of them. You brought in some pieces. Let Tell me yeah. about this artist here over here first. Yeah, so Judy Anderson is, uh, you know, a textured acrylic mixed media artist. Um, she has been in the community for a long time. She actually uh, was one of the co-owners of a Curated Nest Shop, which oh, was yeah. in the West Westboro area. Christina Lovista. That's correct. So I have one Judy of her pieces at home. Yeah, nice. very cool. Very so yeah, cool. So these are a couple of her works and um, yeah, lots of different media and texture. Um, her work is really characterized by a lot of kind of natural elements as well as just joyful. Like her color palette is very fresh and right. very fun and energetic and just um, yeah, it's a, they're lovely textured layered works. I was just going to say that the texture, uh, it really stands out as well, right? As well, yeah. as, as, well as those colors. All right, yeah, let's move exactly. on to the next artist. Tell me about this yeah. artist here. Just so this, this artist slightly. is Wendy Feldberg. And Wendy is, uh, she is, uh, I don't even know if she was on the first tour, but she's certainly been a part of the tour for many, many, many okay. years. And she, her work is all... Um, based around her uh, natural inks that she makes herself with biological plants and products and so when you go to her studio you're not just seeing some of her work which is beautiful paper right. uh, with the natural inks and then mounted and finished and whatnot but she'll always have demos out she's selling the inks oh, she cool. has different types of paper you know kids and adults can test the different inks and just like experiment but she makes like books with uh, paper with her own oh, uh, really? designs cool. on oh, it I and lots of different idea. products. So, yeah. um, I've seen um, avocado seeds used to make uh, a specific color. So I guess that's kind of the idea that, that she uses plants and organic materials in this yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, and you know, one of, the, one of the drawbacks of being an artist always on this tour is that I don't get to go on right. the tour. So like, I really can't tell you a lot of the ingredients right. she puts in there. Yeah. But let me tell you, it's a wide variety. She's got inks of every single tone and um, yeah, opacity and different things. Yeah. Wow, that, so. takes, that takes a lot of hard work, a lot of patience, just as your work does as well. Tell me about yeah. uh, the pieces you brought along with you here today. Sure. Sure. So they're they're two very different pieces, yeah. but they kind of represent uh, two different styles of painting that I do. But the glossy finish on the top, you might find is interest intriguing. It's the art resin epoxy. Okay. So a lot of my work is very chemistry driven, 
and I really like modern materials. So I'm mixed media, technically, right. which is a big bucket that they yeah. put people in if you're not <laughs> acrylic, oil, or watercolor. So you'll find on my pieces, like this is mostly acrylic, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like a sunset, you know, that's the yeah, first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, and this is more mind. literal, and I'm not usually right. a super literal, but all of my work is kind of very nature inspired. Um, but in here, there's even broken mirror and some oh, gems and stuff is. in it. Okay. Yeah. And then it's sealed in. But all of my pieces are always on wood panel okay. because they, um, the, the resin needs to be on a flat, hard surface for it not to pool and cause problems. Right, right. So, yeah, so, and then this piece down here is an alcohol ink piece um, on a synthetic paper with okay. other mixed media that I then paste to the board and finish with the art resin epoxy. Multi step process. The bulk of my recent work is this format. Okay. Just because I'm an open water distance swimmer, I spend a lot of time in nature, and the alcohol inks are really organic and really cool the way they um, react to itself okay. and then other materials, and it creates these really flowy, really cool like shapes and depth on three dimensional, nice. um, like on a flat surface, but three dimension. Now I just want to do it with you. I, well, you should do I, workshops. I might, well, I might in this new uh, Well, yeah, space. now that you have your but own I space. But I may come back. I may come back and maybe I'll do a little, a little I demo. I would something. love that. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Um, I guess this is also an opportunity to, uh, you know, I know you touched on it, but to go into the artist's space. Yeah. What's that experience going to be like for for people coming yeah so one of the cool things about this weekend I mean there's a lot going on in Ottawa at yeah. any given time but uh, doors open Ottawa is also happening on the same weekend and so um, it's kind of it's a perfect uh, fit. I think it's yeah, a perfect fit. It really fit is, yeah. Because in fact, a lot of our artists live in the neighborhood and they will actually be set up in their homes or in their studios. Nice. So you have an opportunity to kind of talk to them about their process and kind of see how they're set up and just feel the vibe of that artist and right. like kind of get to know them. And it's and, a very interesting tour, experience. right? I mean, that's, that's why it's called a studio tour yeah. because you're touring around. So is there a map that people can download? Right. Is that. Um, yeah, that's so available? the map, yeah, we've got a. An an interactive Google map okay. and we've got a downloadable PDF map and there's even going to be posters around the neighborhood with a scan code that takes you directly to oh, it as well. Terrific. But yeah, uh, westendstudiotour.ca is the uh, website where you can download and access it and find all that information. And it's in the neighborhoods like right in our area, right? You're what, Westboro, yeah. West Wellington it's Village? It's from Woodruff all the way over to like the Hintonburg Mechanics okay. Hill area is the, the parameters. Um, but you'll see the maps even broken into three zones and it can it shows you kind of more precisely where those spots are and nice. the exact addresses are on the map for well, you. That, yeah I mean just a, a great opportunity and because you're going into those neighborhoods I mean make a day of it right yeah, go absolutely. you know go visit a, a couple of artists and then go for lunch somewhere and you know maybe yeah. even afterwards I mean go see a play at the GCTC. Yeah. I mean, it's a great neighborhood for sure. Come to Rogers. Karen come Lee to Barrett. Rogers. Open Doors. And uh, by the way, uh, we will be part of Open Doors <laughs> Ottawa, and we'll give you that information, all the details of, of when we're going to be open here at Rogers TV. But Pamela, always a pleasure. Yeah, Thanks so awesome. much for joining great us. To really talk appreciate to you. it. Uh, again, June third and fourth, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, you can find out more information on the website. We'll be back with more right after this.